Hi, it's Chris and Betsy of As We Go, and we invite you to join us as we go with our friends to the South Carolina State Museum. The South Carolina State Museum is located in an old textile mill that they've converted over and it contained a wealth of historic stuff. Uh, just kind of amazing there. We didn't get to see it all in. And it covered a wide span of history from woolly mammoths and prehistoric creatures uh, all the way through. So sit back and I hope you enjoy this little tour as we go through. We were there again with our friends, Pat and Jim. They were kind enough to show us around. And they did a great job of kind of a walk through timeline of different things, the museum setup that is. Uh, kind of through, here's a timeline of transportation or a timeline of history. It was just really neat how they laid it out. They even had some things I didn't expect, like a rotary nutcracker, which had to revolutionize a pecan harvest. They also had a small mill room set up, uh, complete with sound effects. from industrial history to military history like the Revolutionary War and Fort Moultrie, which gets mentioned in our other video when we visited the Confederate uh, Relic Room. That link's up here. They even had submarines in the Civil War. Did you know that? And submarines have changed quite a bit. I'll uh, try to remember to put in some links to World War II submarine that we toured so that you can compare them. Had a big model of the USS Hornet. And like I said, they covered a wide variety of history, uh, even predating colonialism. As you did a little walk through, kind of through the colonial input, you went into kind of a walk through timeline of the timber industry and shipbuilding. It was really neat. Like I said, it was well laid out, very well done. They had some great hands on things for kids to do. My hands were full with cameras, so I didn't do too much of that stuff. There was even a great communication timeline that kind of went from handwriting to mechanical writing, i.e. the typewriter, uh, taking a look on information on the telegraph, and of course moving on into you know your switchboard and the telephone systems. From there we got to move on into checking out. More on print, you know, print. That was back when, to quote one of our favorite movies, television was called books and radio was newspapers. And speaking of radio, they had a nice little salute to radio. Just a great display. And my pictures, unfortunately, of the radio control room didn't turn out well. And then they, of course, included television. Well, I'm glad I don't have to lug that camera around, aren't you? And did anyone have one of these types of sets when they were growing up? They even had a little mocked up movie theater that you could go into for a little bit and catch an old black and white movie. So it was really just kind of neat to see that overall bird's eye view of uh, culture and how things have changed over the years. Like I said, they had a ton of stuff. We didn't begin to see it all. Uh, sometime we're back in that area, we might just go back and check it out even more. So thanks so much for watching. We uh, hope you enjoyed that quick little peek at the South Carolina State Museum. Uh, if you like the video, give us a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Thanks again for watching and who knows, as we go, maybe someday we'll see you on the road. 
Safe travels to you.